For years, ultra-high frame rate video capabilities seemed out of reach for Nikon, as competitors like Sony pushed the boundaries with stacked sensor designs that enabled extreme slow-motion video. However, Nikon is now poised to leapfrog the competition with the announcement of a revolutionary new sensor that can capture 4K footage at an astonishing 1,000 frames per second. So what exactly is this powerful innovation capable of? In a recent briefing with journalists, Nikon unveiled details about this technological marvel, which they claim offers the world's highest levels of sensor performance. The sensor features a 1-inch stacked CMOS design that packs a robust 17.8 megapixel resolution into a compact size. This impressive sensor harnesses cutting-edge, fine-pitch wafer-level wire connection technology to read data off the sensor at unprecedented speeds. A Nikon spokesperson explained that the new stacked CMOS image sensor uses fine-pitch wafer-level wire connection technology, consistent with a 2.7 micrometers pixel size. It boasts a total pixel count of approximately 17.8 megapixels, enabling 4KX4K high-resolution imaging at 1,000 frames per second, with an impressive 110 dB high dynamic range. This is one of the widest dynamic ranges in the industry, making it a significant advancement in sensor technology. While the one-inch sensor size suggests that this component may initially be targeted toward industrial or specialty applications rather than mainstream consumer cameras, the capabilities of this new sensor could hint at exciting developments for Nikon's photography lineup in the future. The key to this sensor's capabilities lies in its stacked design which allows for dramatically faster data readout speeds compared to traditional semiconductor designs. This enables the simultaneous capture of high resolutions and high frame rates, a combination that has previously been challenging to achieve. Sony has already demonstrated the potential of stacked sensors in flagship mirrorless cameras like the Alpha One, which pairs a 50 megapixel sensor with capabilities like 8K 30P video, However, Nikon's new sensor shows just how much untapped potential remains within this architecture. Essentially, super slow motion video capabilities that were once reserved only for specialized high-speed video cameras, now integrated into a single solid-state imaging chip. The potential for videographers is immense. Even footage captured at a slightly reduced 4K resolution of 3840 x 2160 would still be recorded at over 900 frames per second, allowing for the capture of events that are impossible to perceive with the naked eye. And this is before considering the 110 dB dynamic range, which provides an extraordinary level of detail in high contrast scenes. But Nikon didn't stop there. They also revealed that the sensor can be adjusted to capture 4K 60p video with a scarcely believable 134 dB dynamic range. This capability could effectively eliminate the need for multiple cameras in different lighting scenarios, as this single chip may have the flexibility to handle it all with ease. Of course, turning such an advanced imaging solution into a working production camera presents significant challenges. Issues like heat dissipation, managing the overwhelming flow of raw data, and the sheer processing power required are all hurdles that could delay the integration of this technology into consumer devices. However, the potential of this sensor is undeniable. Even if this technology is initially intended for specialized markets, sensors like this one lay out an enticing vision for the future, one where video capabilities currently limited to multi-million dollar broadcast rigs could potentially be democratized and made accessible to both professional and consumer-level handheld devices. It's an incredibly tantalizing prospect that is likely to excite photographers and videographers everywhere, sparking imaginations with the creative possibilities enabled by such a breakthrough. While this level of technology isn't quite ready for mainstream use, Nikon's latest marvel suggests that ultra-high-speed 4K video may soon move from the realm of science fiction to becoming a standard feature in the not-so-distant future. Imagine, if you will, the sheer power of a Nikon Z8 packed into a body only slightly larger than the current Z50. It sounds almost too good to be true, doesn't it? Yet, if the rumors are accurate, 
That's exactly what Nikon might be crafting in their labs. The Nikon Z80 isn't just another incremental update, it's shaping up to be a game-changing statement. In this article, we'll delve into the exciting potential of the Nikon Z80. Let's explore together. According to recent leaks, the Nikon Z80 is rumored to boast impressive specifications that could position it as a formidable competitor in the APS-C mirrorless market. At the heart of the camera is expected to be a 32 megapixel sensor, which strikes a balance between high resolution and manageable file sizes. This places the Z80 in direct competition with cameras like the Canon R7 and Fujifilm XS20, while offering a significant step up from Nikon's current Z50. One of the most exciting features anticipated is the inclusion of the Xpeed 7 image processor, the same chip found in Nikon's high-end full-frame cameras. This powerful processor, coupled with dual data stream technology, promises to deliver exceptional performance in terms of speed and image quality. The ISO range is expected to be 100 to 32,000, expandable to 512,000, which should provide excellent low-light capabilities for an APS-C sensor. Image stabilization is another area where the Z80 is rumored to excel, with sensor shift stabilization offering up to seven stops of compensation with compatible lenses. This could make the camera a game changer for handheld shooting in challenging conditions. The hybrid IBIS technology, similar to what we've seen in the Nikon ZF and Z6 Mark II, could give the Z80 a significant edge over its competitors. Autofocus capabilities are also expected to be top-notch, with 600 phase detect focus points covering a wide area of the frame. Eye and subject detection for both photos and videos are anticipated, along with a unique feature. This addition could make the Z80 particularly appealing to macro photographers, offering a level of precision that's currently rare in the market. For action photographers, the Z80 is rumored to offer a continuous shooting speed of 15 frames per second putting it on par with many professional-grade cameras. This, combined with a high-resolution sensor, could make it an excellent choice for wildlife and sports photography, especially when paired with Nikon's extensive lens lineup. Video capabilities are another area where the Z80 is expected to impress. With 4K UHD recording at both 30p and 60p, as well as full HD at 120p, it should satisfy the needs of most hybrid shooters, potentially positioning the Z80 as a competitor to dedicated video-centric cameras like Sony's FX30. The camera is also expected to feature a 2.3 million dot electronic viewfinder and a 3-inch fully articulated touchscreen, providing versatility for both stills and video shooting. Dual UHS-2 SD card slots offer flexibility for storage and backup while the mini HDMI port ensures compatibility with external recorders and monitors. In terms of physical characteristics, the Z80 is rumored to be similar in size to the Canon R7 and Fujifilm X-S20 with a weight of around 530 grams, including the battery. This compact form factor, combined with an estimated battery life of approximately 600 shots per charge, could make it an attractive option for photographers who value portability without sacrificing performance. The predicted price point of $1,500 for the body-only positions the Z80 in a sweet spot. This pricing strategy could make it an appealing option for enthusiasts looking to upgrade or professionals seeking a capable backup body. So, is the Nikon Z80 essentially a smaller version of the Z8? While it certainly seems to inherit some high-end features from its full-frame siblings, it might be more accurate to view it as a bridge between Nikon's APS-C and full-frame offerings. The Z80 appears to be designed to fill a crucial gap in Nikon's lineup, offering a high-performance option for those who want more than the Z50 can offer, but aren't ready to make the jump to full-frame. If these rumors prove true, the Nikon Z80 could be a game-changer in the APS-C mirrorless market. From wildlife and sports shooters who need reach and speed, to hybrid content creators who demand versatility, the Z80 seems poised to meet a variety of needs. As we await official confirmation from Nikon, it's clear that the potential introduction of the Z80 has generated significant excitement in the photography community. 
What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. The world of photography is buzzing with rumors about the upcoming Nikon Z9 Mark II, a flagship mirrorless camera that could introduce groundbreaking features, positioning it as a direct competitor to the anticipated Canon R1 and Sony A9 III. If the rumors hold true, the Nikon Z9 Mark II could be a game changer for professional photographers, offering high-speed performance and cutting-edge technology. Let's dive into what we know so far and compare it with Sony's A9 III, which is likely to be its closest rival. The Nikon Z9 Mark II is said to be an enhanced version of the Nikon Z9, a camera already renowned for its performance. However, the Z9 Mark II is rumored to push the boundaries further, boasting a 20.4 megapixel sensor with a lightning-fast readout speed of 0.4 milliseconds. This would be an impressive feat, offering ultra-fast data capture that is crucial for high-speed photography. One of the most anticipated features of the Nikon Z9 Mark II is the possible introduction of a global shutter, a feature that would set it apart from traditional rolling shutters. Rolling shutters tend to create distortion, often referred to as jello effect, when shooting fast-moving subjects. A global shutter, on the other hand, captures the entire image in a single moment, eliminating distortion and making it ideal for sports, wildlife, and action photographers. If Nikon manages to implement this feature, the Z9 II could become a go-to camera for photographers who need to capture high-speed action with absolute precision. In terms of processing, the Nikon Z9 Mark II is expected to feature dual Xpeed 7 processors, which would significantly boost the camera's speed and performance. This setup is likely to enable fast, continuous shooting, smooth 4K video recording, and quick handling of large image files. Even though Nikon is reportedly testing the newer Xpeed 8 processors, the dual Xpeed 7 configuration should still deliver more than enough power for professional needs. The rumored release date for the Nikon Z9 Mark II is either late 2024 or early 2025, so photographers may have to wait a bit longer for official announcements. However, if these specs hold true, the Z9 II could set a new standard for Nikon's flagship mirrorless lineup. A9III's most impressive rumored features is its continuous shooting speed of up to 120 frames per second. This would outpace the Nikon Z9 II, which is expected to offer fast burst shooting, but may not reach 120 FPS. If you're a photographer who needs to capture the fastest action, whether in sports or wildlife photography, the A9 III could be the better option in this department. The Nikon Z9 II is expected to feature dual Xpeed 7 processors while the Sony A9 III will likely use the Bion ZXR processor, which has already proven itself in Sony's flagship cameras like the Alpha One. Both cameras are expected to offer excellent performance in terms of speed, data handling, and video processing, but it will be interesting to see how they stack up in real-world tests. Which camera is right for you? Ultimately, the choice between the Nikon Z9 Mark II and Sony A9 III will come down to your specific needs and preferences. If you're already invested in Nikon's ecosystem, the Z9 II could be the perfect upgrade, offering a balanced combination of speed, performance, and flash capabilities. On the other hand, if you prioritize absolute speed, both in continuous shooting and flash sync, the Sony A9 III might be the better option. Both cameras are set to raise the bar for professional mirrorless photography, and whichever one you choose, you're likely to get a top-of-the-line tool for high-speed precision photography. Keep an eye out for official announcements as these models get closer to their release dates, and be prepared for a new era of mirrorless performance.